is the NBA D money getting too global for you? You know, this is what I mean. And I don't mean to be um, stereotypical or negative or anything, but when you look at the MVPs for like the last four years with Giannis and Jokic, and you're seeing some of these accolades that's been given, I understand mm-hmm. the NBA is a global brand. It's big and they're trying to grow. Mm-hmm. But do you think that they are pushing that narrative as more important than the actual play and production that we actually see on the court? Like, are some guys getting cheated out of accolades because they're not foreign? Because the NBA wants to push that that button for the foreign, you know, for their brand? I don't think so. I think the U.S. players got to step up. Um, and, and the you know, in regards to, you know, it being just a regular season um, accolade as far as with the MVP, it's just one of them things, man. It's like, okay, you got to you gotta measure up to these stats or be close. And if you're not measuring up, it just is what it is. Like, you look at how dominant um, your boy was. Uh, Giannis. Giannis has been, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And then... Now you're looking at the Joker and then having the stats that he has as a big man and pretty much carrying that team to the playoffs without Jamal Murray there. It's just, you know, it's all, everything is all circumstantial. You know what I mean? So the only problem with that, D-Money, is everything that you are giving these guys credit for, there has been at least one to two other people in that same season that has done that same exact thing. The MB Joker conversation and debate for MVP has been close for the last two seasons. Yeah. A lot of people feel like, I mean, when you look at the playoffs, when it Joker comes up so short in the playoffs, when mm-hmm. Giannis won those two MVPs, he looked terrible in the postseason. But I feel like the NBA was trying to push the narrative like that we are global, we're not going to be biased, and everything is going to go to the states. So Mm -hmm. they kind of, I don't want to say giving away awards and stuff, because these guys put in the work, but I don't feel like Giannis deserved to be a two-time MVP and Joker deserved to be a two-time back-to-back MVP, especially the way they performed in the playoffs those same seasons. Like, Well, if that's the case, then they need to make the uh, MVP award uh, not only just a um, regular season, but also a postseason award, too. I would like so that. That's gonna that's gonna be the only way that changes. But and then and then when we talk about Brandon, Giannis name is definitely getting bigger. But what is Joker doing as far as marketability? Did he got mm. a shoe out? Like what type of merch does Joker you understand what I'm saying? So really would it the problem with Joker is he plays with Denver. If he was playing somewhere else. I, think. I still don't think he don't got no swagger, man. Joker don't got no swagger, bro. He ain't that guy. He's not. That's because he don't got the, he don't got the right guys around him to, to give him that. Like, nah, man. if Joker was in Miami, I'm telling you, he'd be a different person. You think or so? If was, yes. If he was in Miami, or he was around those guys in Miami, or if he was in um uh, in Brooklyn, or even in LA, they not a market. And they not a market. These guys, man. It's it's just basically where he's at. That's kind of like in Utah. That's like the whole reason um, Donovan Mitchell don't get the shine that he get because he's in Utah. You know what I mean? So, but we've seen other players that have their own teams and making it happen. Like Donovan Mitchell, he does have Rudy Gobert, who's a defensive player of the year. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A multi time. He's an all star. So it's not like Donovan but, Mitchell don't have no help. But it's these Brandon, guys are, though, these guys Brandon, are just not superstars. Branding wise, it. If Donovan Mitchell was in New York, he'd be rated as a superstar. Oh, Come anybody on, that goes it's, to the New York circuit is going to be on another <laughs> level. Absolutely. Spider-Man would be lit if he was in New York. Definitely. Exactly. So I'd really just put it based on location. Like those guys out around him, they're not going to be like, not going to have that type of influence on him. You know what I mean? And you end up. I'm sorry. I got to talk to the bosses. I feel like the NBA is catering to the global the aspect. Global. And I get it because that's where the money is. That's where the future would get more fans. So this is just, I'm going to have to deal with it. You know what I mean? It ain't like yeah. it's going to change. But I do feel like I'm identifying what's going on. These guys are winning back to back, back to back MVPs and don't win big, no championships. The big, 
um, the big guys, I like to call them, in the NBA, as far as branding goes, I mean, you saw what happened with all these different moves and, and stuff like that. It still drew eyes to the NBA, like nationally. You know what I mean? It still did what it's supposed to do. It's just that when it comes to, you know, just being on the global side, yeah, they're probably going to flock to these these um European guys. And yet they want to make their brand a, a lot bigger than what it is. You know what I mean? I feel but, like, yeah, I get it. But you shortchanging, you shortchanging the real. You're shortchanging what we what we're watching day to day as basketball fans, analysts, what have you. Most people know Joel Embiid deserved that MVP. Yeah. He's better than Joker. He played just as well. You talk about numbers and all that. Like, yeah. Joker didn't stand out. And then when the playoffs came, look what happened. And you know what I mean? It's just like, well, a lot of, I, I, I feel see a like lot they're of, pushing a the narrative. I see man. a lot of stuff getting pushed toward that passing game. And that's one thing that he does. And he does run the actual offense. So, like, like even like, you know, Luca, Luca, they talking you, about Luca being the face of the NBA. He's not like the NBA to me is going in that direction, bro. That they catering globally too much for my liking. These guys ain't like won guys nothing. Pass, they they like guys that can do all 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 of it. That can shoot. That can rebound and can pass. Who they got to blame for that? I'm not Who, mad at that. Player, right? I'm not mad at that. But if you got someone from the states that do it better. Don't give the award to someone globally because you're trying to appease to new fans and get a new fan base. That ain't right. Yeah. I mean, it just is what it is. I mean, look at it like now, bro. Nobody plays at the Rucker no more, man. Everybody plays on the West Coast. They play in Hollywood. Right. You know what I mean? It's just one of them things. Now was more so it's just an open market. Be sure to check out the rest of this episode and more at the best of seven on all your favorite listening platforms.